welcome back to my channel it is me misty beauty and i'm here to do another general energy reading i hope that all of you guys are doing well i hope that all of you guys are remaining safe i hope that you guys are healing that you're not letting letting anyone destroy your peace right all right so spirit go ahead and give me some um general energy for this reading for the collective also, you guys, all of the Zodiacs for this week is currently posted on my um, Zodiac channel, Mystic Beauty Tarot. The link will be in the comment section, in the description box, and on the community board. So you guys go ahead and check that out. All 12 Zodiacs are posted on there, and you will be able to find those, those readings on there weekly, you guys. So, all right. Wow. So... Purpose and loneliness is here. So I feel like you and both, you and your person are both um, yearning and missing each other right now. Purpose talks about, I know what I'm here to do. So even though you are missing this person, you are not allowing um, what happened with the situation to knock you off your journey, right? Not take you away from your purpose. What it is that you're really supposed to be doing. Give me another um, energy spirit. Give me another card. Also, you guys, I'm almost done with the um, sending out orders. For those of you guys that are still waiting on a confirmation, the second batch will be dropped off at the post office in the AM. Once they scan it in, you will receive a tracking number. Thank you to those of you guys that have reached out to me and let me know that you have received your package. Um, I really appreciate that. You know, good feedback is better than no feedback, right? All right. All right, give me another card. One more spirit. Give me the overall energy for this situation. If it's nothing in this, thank you. Change, yeah. <clears throat> so something changed in this connection with you and this person. I feel like whatever this change was, you could have orchestrated this change after this person took you through something, something changed. It's that understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So whatever happened in this connection, whatever change, definitely, um, I feel like it's going to take this connection to the next level. Um, you and your person both are trying to have courage. You're trying to have courage to not reach out to this person because to be real with you you really want to reach out to this person because you love them and you miss them but you are dealing with dealing with someone who was very indecisive this person could have had you um in a third party situation it says i know that i can do whatever i set my mind to so you know you said forget it i'm going to despite the fact of me being lonely i'm going to persevere through this i'm going to push forward Right, while this person is being indecisive, I'm not going to let this stray me off of my purpose. I have the courage necessary to orchestrate the change in my life. And that's what you guys are doing. You're no longer, you're not doubting yourself because doubt is here in reverse. Also, I feel like this is your person's energy getting out of this indecision because doubt being here in reverse with indecision in the upright. So I feel like this person, your person was doubting this connection, right? They were doubting what moves they needed to take. They, they were doubting, should they commit? Should they move forward? What should they offer you? Um, Just, I feel like this person was going back and forth with themselves on should they lay it all out on the line. You guys are dealing with someone who had a lot to lose or they feel like they had a lot to lose. But you know, you were looking at the situation like, well, you wouldn't be losing anything with me because a lot of you guys, y'all have y'all, y'all have y'all self together. You know, I feel like this person could have have um, abandonment issues, you know, so they, they try their best not to get attached. Even though they wanted to be attached to you and they wanted to give you more. Look at that. I act like I don't care. Just like I said, this person has abandonment issues and they try not to get attached. So they act like they don't care. Wow. Look at that. I'm so lonely without you. Didn't I just say both you guys are mirroring each other? This person is lonely and you're lonely, too. And they're proud of you. This person is proud of you. So you may think this person not seeing your big moves. They're not seeing your growth. They see this. They see you. They're watching you quietly. Fake accounts, fake profiles. They're having other people keep tabs on you. They are definitely seeing you. They're seeing your growth. They are so proud of you. How you are pretty much you sticking up for yourself. I feel like this person is proud of the woman or the man that you are becoming, even though they know that um, 
This person caused a lot of damage to you, but they are still proud of you. Dealing with the devil. Some of y'all said that this person was the devil or you felt like this person was the devil. And also this person could be dealing with the devil, like for real, like dealing with the, um, with the karmic energy in their life that is very evil, conniving, trifling. The tower card is here. So there was definitely some type of um, situation that came through like a tornado on this card and tore this foundation down between you guys and your person's going through some type of tower moment in their life as well. I feel like this person is dealing with someone in their life that is, that is very dishonest with them and this this situation could have came out some type of truth could have came out um with whoever they're dealing with someone could be dealing with the cancer this person could have just found out that someone in their family has cancer as well um more than sex so your person made you feel like all they wanted was sex so i'm just feeling like when this person returns back to you they it's like they're gonna make it their mission their duty to make you know that it is more than sex with you i feel like they were just dealing with the situation of dealing with the devil to the point where they couldn't really open up and give you what it is that you deserve this person has been operating operating out of fear you guys for a very long time look karmic gave me an std so for some of you guys this could have been this tower moment that Whoever they were dealing with outside of you gave them some type of STD. I do feel like it's something that is curable. And if it's not, it's something that could be managed with medication. Cyber sex, casual dating could be someone that they met online. Thank you. Some of you guys are dealing with the Leo. You could be a Leo, have fire in your chart or your person. Yeah, this person's biggest fear right now is playing out in their face. You guys moving on. You moving on is this person's biggest fear. And this is playing out in their face right now. This person feels like they owe you so much more than what they gave you. They feel like they owe you everything. This person didn't really invest the way that they should have. This person could quite literally just, they feel like they owe you so much. This person is very insecure. You make this person feel insecure though. That's because you got your shit together, right? And this is why this person is like, they're proud of you. So even though they're proud of you, they feel so small around you. Because I feel like you boss up. You know, you are that man. You are that woman. You are. You have really taken the steps necessary to become the 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 best possible version of yourself right now at the moment that you can that you can be. Stuck in lust and stuck in desire kept this person from coming towards you. You know, lack mentality, feeling like that they, they are not good enough, they are not worthy, and they're not deserving of someone like you even though this person is attached to you this person is energetically attached to you okay and for some of you guys the karmic do know about you um i just heard playing on your phone so some of y'all feel like y'all been getting some weird calls you know somebody not saying nothing hanging up fake numbers yeah that's the karmic energy um possibly more than one karmic that they are dealing with it could definitely be playing on your device let me pull the karmic tail deck and let's see what's going on with that since that message just came up. <clears throat> Spirit, what is the karmic energy surrounding the collective? What is the karmic energy surrounding the collective and the person that they are dealing with? We need to talk. Didn't wow. Okay, so for some of y'all, the karmic will be reaching out to you. Whoever they have been, they've been dealing with will be reaching out to you, wanting to talk to you, stalking, following, watching. Yeah, this is some of the karmic watching you too. So a lot of you guys, whoever they're dealing with or been dealing with or married to or connected to, is watching you and they do know about you. And it's like they're just waiting on the opportunity to reach out to you, wanting to talk to you. Um, fake friends, you know, so a lot of you guys, for some of y'all, I'm going to say this, this is for a select few of you guys, that the karmic is one of your friends or somebody that you know. Divorce, this is also someone that they could be definitely married to. Give me another card, Spirit. Thank you. Wow. Whoever they're dealing with is using your person for finances, Okay. Because it says broke and low on funds. So whoever your person is dealing with, whoever this karmic energy is, is definitely, um, they, they're, they're lacking. They don't have, you know, commitment forever. You know, so this is that, that infinity symbol. So the karmic energy know that this is a forever type of love that this, that 
this person has for you. And this is something that really, really bothered them. Okay? Materialistic is here. So, even though this karmic ain't got nothing, they try to get everything from your person. They are, they're trying their best to drain them of their finances, deplete them of their resources. So, some of y'all could have told, told your person that they was hard-headed. They didn't want to listen to you. You know? <clears throat> okay. Spirit, go ahead and... um. Give me some more messages. What else is going on with this situation? Wow. So there's this rest and recuperation card is here. Meditation recovery. So this is your energy, the energy of pulling back. You guys not talking. I feel like you guys are just on a temporary break from this person. The Queen of Swords is here. You know, you are about your business. This talks about intelligence, um, perceptive, professional. You know, you are really working on yourself. You're an organized woman or a man, you know, but you're not with the, with the, with the BS. This person has to come towards the queen of swords only speaking the truth. This is why her hand is up, but the sword is up at the same time. So this is like, yeah, I'll listen to what you got to say, but depending on the words that you choose, I might still cut you. And this is pretty much what you, you guys are embodying the queen of swords energy right now. This is a no bullshit type of energy. Three of Pentacles, you are working on yourself. You are um, working on your craft, which is going to make you a lot of money. It's going to make you extremely prosperous, extremely abundant. Four of Pentacles, financial control. Y'all getting y'all finances under control in this camp. Because your goal is to leave a legacy behind. Your goal is to um, become stable, be stable. And I feel like you guys are on the right track. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, you're dealing with someone who is unbalanced, who is warred, you know. Um, this person has been in a stalemate energy for a very long time, stuck between some type of difficult choice, possibly having some type of decision because indecision is here. So it's like a choice between the two, you know, and this is why you ended this situation. This is why you moved away from this situation because this person was indecisive, Right hangman energy so someone needing to retreat you know someone needing to like let go and someone is trying to, i feel like your person is trying to look at things from your percept your your viewpoint your your perception right now how you see it they're trying to surrender you know to me the hangman is taking it's that's like idol that's limbo that's like i'm not doing anything but i'm doing a lot right this person Even though they're in this hangman energy, you guys, they are still very uneasy. Until they call, call truce with you, until they make this right with you, you know, until they mend your broken heart, until they remo remove all these blocks, you know, this person calls you a lot of grief. This person will remain in this hangman energy until they can like, it's like they're trying to strategize how they can make this thing right with you. That was a lot of hurt, you know, and I feel like both you guys are dwelling on the past. I feel like you're trying to get out of that energy, though. Look at that. This person has fear of the unknown. So even though the chariot is here, which meaning they want to move forward, they want to come towards you, this person is still stuck in fear. It says fear of the unknown, lack of planning. They feel like they cannot get ahead. That Oh, look at that. Indecisive, holding back. We just said this person is extremely indecisive. You know, with the two of swords energy being here, what route do I take? What do I need to do? I don't feel like this is not a group where this person don't know the truth of one. They just don't know how they can come towards you. They don't know how they can come towards you. Like they're trying to figure this out. Okay. So you guys, I'm going to take this over to the other side. If this is your story, I'm going to finish it up on the other side. You guys make sure that you um, click the link in the description box. We're going to be figuring out what is in this person's heart space. Like, exactly how do they feel like their secret feelings hidden emotions um what you don't see coming they're they're your best source of action like best advice from spirit for you what do you need to do like from this point on right so that is all you guys make sure that you subscribe to my new tarot channel misty beauty tarot the link will be in the description box the comment section and on my community board all 12 zodiacs are now posted on the channel you guys and that is where you can find all of your zodiacs from me every single week you guys okay all right i love you guys you guys are so awesome peace